Hey everyone, it's me, Waddy28. Welcome back to my channel for a new part of The Sims 2. Let's play Pleasant View Season 2. We are back for our final part of round five with Miss Florence Della Rosa uh, running her flower shop in her house, doing her thing. Like literally just doing her, living her life, um, having a good time. And, you know, we appreciate that for her. So we are Rosa. doing good. We just hit rank level four of our business, which is fantastic. So our business is now valued at 20,000 simoleons. We have 20 customer loyalty stars. Uh, then I'll just show you our our um, perks that we have right now. We got Sterling Reputation, a little bit of Laterno Prize. We got a little bit of cash, I think about a thousand simoleons, which is great. Um, we got Supplied Partnership, so we enjoy a little bit of a wholesale discount, which is pretty uh, great. But we do like to do our, um, our own floral arranging more so. Um, and we will be closing around um, 4 o'clock. I just want us to kind of chat. Dustin is coming over this evening um, because he will be being a donor for us i'm pr and i want to check very quickly i don't think i have but um we're supposed to um be given a bit of a um a bit of a um money bit of money from dustin um i thought i had done that for um in his part um, but I must have actually missed that, which is uh, fine. But yeah, Dustin will be giving Florence some um, moolah and support of the child. Not that she ter terribly needs um, money. She's doing pretty decent. But with a kid, you know, they come with fees, of course. Um, and so that means that people... Um, Who's pregnant? Oh, the cats are pregnant. Holy bonanza. So I thought the cats were already pregnant, um, but they will be later, not now. <laughs> so they just got pregnant now. I thought Florence got pregnant because um, that's what we were waiting on. Um, but we're getting ourselves talent badges left, right, and center. Florence is doing very well for herself, which is fantastic. So everything closed. Closed. Cassandra Goth is leaving. Go on, girl. Get out of here. Um, we're going to go ahead and call up Dustin. But of course, he's at work for a little bit. Oh, crub. I think he gets home at like 10 a.m. We might have to have her be played <laughs> a day off camera or sorry not a day off camera but a day tomorrow I might have to move into Wednesday um, because he might not be able to come over tonight because it might be too late when he gets home I hope it isn't I should have invited him all over earlier um, but Florence is doing actually really well for someone who is such a mysterious person coming into this town um, she was keeping to herself a lot like a lot um but she's already made some friends surprisingly she actually not surprisingly to me i think this is kind of like typical um but she gets close to guys really easily and guys seem to be very attracted to her and, and like i think she has a level of attraction for them as well i mean i'm looking at steven tinker and the fact that she's like highly highly attracted to him not that there's anything wrong with that, none of them saying, but like, you know, it's Steven Tinker. He's He's got his own thing going on. Um, but I think that Florence um, just does get well with guys. She's very sweet. She's very approachable. She's like just overall um, someone I think who's like homely, but like also pretty. <laughs> like because homely is kind of a, like a negative thing to say. Um, but I find that she is someone that like people just like but women don't seem to um what is wrong with you okay take your bath and then take a nap oh my god is the cat pouncing on me what is happening i just want to take a bath please um sorry i'm getting distracted because like what is happening um that she she gets along with guys and women don't seem to really get along with her so she finds it kind of hard for her to attach herself and that might have to do with the fact that you know like her mother was not 
um, good to her. Her father was also not really the best with her, but she's just always been able to connect better with guys. Um, you know, it, it might have to be with m much of her past where a lot of girls and women were very catty and superficial and honestly just very, very cruel to her growing up um, that I think she it's difficult for her to um, to connect with them. So I'm going to try calling Dustin at 8 o'clock because I don't remember when he gets off of work. I'm going to try calling him now. No, he's still not in. So I'm going to wait till 10 and see if he'll come over after 10 because I think he, um, I think he might. So 10.01. Let's see if he'll come over. Look at Singa just like go into town. Oh my god. Okay, so we're, we're definitely going to have to wait until morning to do this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward until they're playing. That's so cute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward until morning time when Dustin comes over. I'll see you guys very shortly. Alrighty guys, so Dustin is here. Oh, he's not happy about our um, our bad newspapers in front of our house. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, we've got our uh, biological clock. And all that we're going to do is um, I want a baby with Dustin. And that should put us pregnant. And we're and that's it we're pregnant oh my god um so that was that he's playing in our leaves um but we do want to have an inside joke with him and um and chat with him um she sends to like wolves too which is um very interesting to me so i kind of want us to come over here she wants to see a wolf which we could come and greet bailey and say hi hi to the pup -wiz. um and we're gonna scold her for rolling in filth. Five, him for rolling four. in filth. Bad poppers. So let's give, stroke him and give him a treat. Um, and off he, uh, off he goes. But uh, she's running to throw up because she's pregos. <gasps> oh my god, I'm not ready for this. I don't know about you guys. Um, but I'm hella nervous for Ms. Florence. This is a big decision that's going down. And I think she feels definitely a little bit nervous herself because this is brand new territory. Where are we going to put the baby? I do not know. I kind of think we might extend, extend maybe back and put the baby room beside the kitchen here. But we definitely need money for that. So she's going to have to work that on her own. Um, but I will play, I think, the next, like, Wednesday and Thursday off camera. And we'll play Friday, Saturday for round six. Um, that's going to help move along uh, a lot of things. Um, Florence is pregnant with Dustin's baby, but they did not woohoo they are just pregnant and that's insane um and i'm excited but nervous about this baby because dustin's genes are like not the best either so we got to keep that in mind um but i'm gonna go ahead and end this part here if you guys are enjoying this series do give this video a fat thumbs up subscribe for more as i put them out fairly regularly let me know your thoughts and comments down below i would love to hear them um leave baby name suggestions down below for little baby whatever it is um and yeah, I, I'm so excited. I want to know. Um, round six is coming up. People are going to university. So university parts are going to start up, I think, for its part uh, round seven. Um, in between round seven or eight, I'm going to move into university because I want to have um, quite a few of the generations in university um, together to speed things up a bit because... I don't like spending a ton of time in university, but we'll spend some time. Um, and there's a lot going on right now. Things are just continuing to develop. I'd love to know your thoughts and comments, as always, down below. I love you guys so very much. I will see you in my very next video. Bye, guys. And I've been counting days to get away.